Hey Jesus, squad welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we had a cool, amazing product right here in my hand. If you can see, it's by a brand called Zule, Zule Kitchen. This is the same brand that I tested for like the milk froder and also the uh, matcha. So this time they sent me some of their spatulas that they have right here that comes in a set of four. They provide you a small spatula that is for spreading. They provide you a large spatula for folding. So when you just want to fold your uh, cream or whatever for the actual like Japanese cheesecake like I make, you can use it for folding. They provide you a jar spatula and this one is for uh, scraping off anything you guys want from the actual maybe jar or bowl or whatever. You guys can use it for scraping. And then the last one is a spoon spatula and this one is for sautéing. But for all four, the spatula is actually made really nicely with the highest grade silicon material if you guys can see. And it's super flexible which is pretty cool and super nice. It's definitely really easy to clean which I'll show you guys in a second. All four of these have a slot where you can actually hook it on so if you guys want to hook it like that you guys can. The whole entire spatula itself for all four of them is heat resistant so you guys don't have to worry about it getting burned or whatever. And also all four of these are all BPA free so you guys don't have to worry about that either. I most likely suggest that you guys hand wash it so that way it's much more cleaner than using a dishwasher. Because from my experience using dishwasher, it doesn't really clean your product like fully. But definitely for the material on here, you guys don't have to worry about like mold or odors or whatever which is pretty nice. Because the material that they use on here help prevent all of that. And then if you guys look in the middle part right here, the reason why it's so strong and durable is because the inner layer they have a stainless steel core to make it super durable and last longer than your typical spatula. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we explained what is on the product and what is provided for the product itself, let's actually go test it out and show you guys how well it works and show you guys how easy it is to clean and everything. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so we got one of the spatulas right here. We're gonna test it out to see how well it works. So you guys can see that this part right here is sticked onto it pretty well. So I'm gonna use the spatula to scoop it out and put it on one side right here. So let's do that first. So as you can see, you got everything out from the actual holder right here. So I put it here on one side. Same thing for the other one. Put it on one side, just like that. So we got both of them right here. The reason why I did this is to show you guys how well it works. You guys can see that I uh, got some on here. So you just want to like just go like this, and it comes off really easily because it's non-stick and everything. So I'm gonna put this onto the grill right now, and then we're gonna clean up the actual uh, spatula itself to show you guys how to clean it and how easy it is to clean it and everything. All right, so you can see the green light popped on. So let's add it in now and cook these uh, vegetarian meat or fake meat. All right, you guys can see the smoke. Let's add it in now. Just like that. Same thing for the other one as well. All right. So we'll just leave it in, cook it for like four or five minutes on both sides. But since it's grill, we just close it for four or five minutes and it should be done. So we'll just let it cook for four to five minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. All right, so we have it all done. You guys can see the green light popped on. So let's see what it looks like. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. There's like the grill marks and everything. So just like that. If you guys want to remove any of the juice, just go like that and just scoop it out and put it here like that. And that's it. So let's go clean up the spatula and show you guys how easy it is to clean up the product. All right, so basically when you guys clean the product itself, you guys can just either use a sponge to clean it like this, or if you guys want to just spray it like this. If you guys want to just use hot water to like rinse it because hot water can get rid of it easier. But since there is oil for this product, or there's a little bit of oil on here, you want to add a little bit of uh, soap onto the sponge itself and then clean it off like this. Or if you guys want to, you guys don't need to add soap on here because it just comes off really easily because of the silicone material on here. And you can see it's super clean, not oily anymore because of the silicone material comes off much easier with the oil material and everything. Alright, welcome back guys. So now you guys saw the quick test of the product itself, you guys can see it actually does work and actually works quite well. Uh, one thing I also forgot to mention about the product itself is obviously it is non-stick. So if that's a concern for you guys, you guys don't have to worry about that because these are non-stick. But just like how you guys saw in the test itself, it's super easy to use, super easy to clean and everything. I definitely love this a lot. I was actually looking for a new spatula anyway. So now that we did a quick unboxing and testing of the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. Especially if you guys love cooking or baking or any kind of like baking ingredients to help you guys spread the ingredients, saute your soup maybe, or even like folding your ingredients for making your Japanese cheesecake or whatever. Then because of all those cases, it makes it that much more worth it for this product. <laughs> But obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the quick unboxing and testing of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G Squad fan show of day, we have.